This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a video on SBF. I've been wanting to do a video on SBF because I personally have been getting into SBF a lot more. All I hear about is SBF, SBF, SBF. And everyone's saying you gotta apply it every day, no matter what, no matter if it's raining or cloudy, or if you're inside a lot, to apply it every two hours. So, I don't know. I did a lot of research I am not a dermatologist, as we all know, so I don't know everything. But again, I've come to a lot of conclusions about SPF, and I don't know, it's it's super interesting, and I, I really want this to be a little bit more educational on things that I've learned. Okay, let's talk about the importance of the sun. I love the sun. The sun is very, very important to me. You guys know from my last video, I like to get up and I like to go outside. And there's a lot of importance to the sun. There's some people who are like anti-sun, like stay away from it, like use all this SPF, cover yourself. And I don't believe in that. But that being said, the sun is somewhat scary if you're not protecting your skin very well. And, um, it can cause skin cancer, which is scary. My sister actually had skin cancer three times. So that was really scary um, and she's okay, thank God. But she's super cautious of it and more and more people are getting skin cancer and most skin cancers are preventative. So it is important to educate yourself on this stuff, you know, and obviously it causes aging and all that other not so fun stuff. So the sun, being so important, it reduces stress, you can maintain healthy bones, it strengthens your immune system because we all know vitamin D is so important. They believe that a lot of people were more, um, more prone to getting COVID because of vitamin D deficiency. They were telling everyone to stay inside and then it was cold. Vitamin D deficiency is not good. And you can take vitamin D, you know, vitamins and all that, but I like to get my vitamin D outside if I can. Um, and it fights depression. It's good to be outside. It's good, the, the sun does heal you. It's good for you. I believe it's good for yourselves. Like, but you just have to be cautious that you're in it too much. So there's different types of UV rays. There's UVA rays that causes like aging skin, wrinkles and all that stuff. And then there's UVB rays that causes burning of the skin. SPF does protect you depending on what it is and how long you've had it on and how much you put it on and all that stuff but you can still get a tan with spf so people don't believe you can but you definitely can you're just it's just not so direct you have like a little bit of protection which is nice so out of my little research or whatever there is mineral spf and there's chemical spf and mineral spf is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Apparently that's the only type of SPF, I believe, that the FDA has tested and has cleared that it is safe as long as it's not inhaled. So it's not good to have SPFs that are of sprays or anything that you can breathe in that is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And then there's a the chemical SPF. And those are homosalate, abobenzone, I'm sorry if I'm pushing these, and oxybenzone. There's more than that, but apparently those are the ones that people are more skeptical about and that the FDA is trying to do more studies on. They're saying the chemical ones that I just listed are endocrine disruptors and they can cause cancer. So it can disrupt your hormone system and it can cause harm during reproduction and development. And the reasoning why is because they are saying that the chemicals in SPF can get into your bloodstream and does seep in through your skin. So a lot of people that use this kind of SPF, they found the chemicals in breast milk and in urine, which again means that it's getting into your bloodstream. So that's not really good. You kind of want to figure out what exactly it does and what it harms. And, and also, you put a lot of SPF on your face, it's getting in your eyes, you're putting on your lips, and you're inhaling it if it sprays. So the FDA has been doing studies, but hasn't come to a massive conclusion. But 
I will say that anything I've read, I mean, I think they're a little afraid to admit some of these things because probably the risk is a lot lower than the higher risk of skin cancer. So, and Hawaii passed a ban of sunscreens that contain octanoxate because it fears that it damages coral reefs and it can bleach them and cause reproductive issues within fish. Yeah, it's just, it's a very interesting topic right now. Uh, my boyfriend and I even went uh, to dinner with Dr. Drew and his wife and I asked him, I'm like, I'm doing a YouTube on SVF. What is your opinion on SVF? I was kind of surprised by it. He said that Again, it's an interesting topic because they don't know the long-term effects of these chemicals, but he does believe that getting vitamin D is so good for you. And to completely try to block out vitamin D from the sun, he doesn't think is necessarily a good thing, but obviously excessive amounts of sun and sun damage and burning your skin is obviously not the goal. Okay, so that being said, I don't know if I educated you at all. I have all these products here. So if you wanna stay away from chemicals because you aren't sure, you know, if they don't know yet, I don't wanna find out the hard way, which is kind of my opinion. Um, you kind of, when you look at an SPF, you want to look at the active ingredients. And if it says abobenzone, homoslate, octisolate, octocrylin, oxobenzone, whatever, that's the ones you should be, I guess, a little worried about. But um, yeah, I also read many times that any SPF that says it's water resistant isn't actually water resistant. It's kind of like a selling tactic they try to throw on their sunscreens. But yeah, this is HEBs. I personally wouldn't get it because you inhale it. It's 50, which means it's probably a lot of the chemicals in them and it's like 100%. All the active ingredients are chemicals. So that's whatever. And <laughs> there's so many good sunscreens that I'm kind of heartbroken about that they have these chemicals. So in the UK, apparently they have um, restrictions that SPF can only have like certain amount of of each like 2.2 is the most that it should be for like homo slate or whatever it is so you can also look out for that the, the percentages on them to see how much of the chemicals are in there these are great spfs so these are free of oxidinoxate i'm butchering all these names make fun of me all you want i don't know how to say these oxybenzone free paraben free um peg free cruelty free vegan reef friendly non-aerosol coconut and aloe vera so these do technically have the chemicals i don't feel like these are like huge risks or whatever because i'm again i'm trying to understand i don't really know i don't think anybody knows if you're gonna put on spf you should put on at least 30 and the most 50. i have read that anything over 50 it's usually just bull that they're just trying to sell you that it's more or it just means that there's just crazy amount of chemicals in them. So you really want to get from 30 to 50. And I put on 30 now when I'm outside and I still get a tan. But mind you, I'm in Texas and I just moved here and the sun is for real. <laughs> so 30 is like putting on five, it feels like. Okay, so actually I want to start with face right now because if we're supposed to put on SPF, under makeup, the formula is going to matter. <laughs> so for the long, my mom put gave me this a long time ago. You guys have heard me say that my mom is a huge skin person. She always told me to protect my skin and my chest from the sun. Didn't really listen to her, but she loves this stuff. And this is Estee Lauder SPF 50 Bronze Goddess. I did feel, I feel like this is better for older skin that can handle more, um, more oily formula. So if you have more drier skin where your skin can handle um, more oily um, products, then I do recommend this. Okay, so Super Goop, love their formula. So this one's the Unseen Sunscreen and it goes on, I'm gonna put a little bit, but it goes on clear and it's so thin. Like their formula is real good. Um, they, it does contain chemical sunscreen, but this one is the Glow Screen. This one is tinted and it goes on clear. Some sunscreens, if you've tried it, like goes, you know, it comes out white and it literally turns your skin like blue. I'm so confused at this day and age why any sunscreen is not tinted. But I feel like glow sunscreen will look good on all skin types, even for darker skin tones. I know that's always kind of been an issue with these damn sunscreens, but this goes well. 
love this stuff. When I started getting into SPF, I everyone was saying like, oh, you gotta get SPF. Um, I'll, you, oh, you, oh, you, bleh. Oh. Everyone was saying, oh, you gotta try Elta MD. And the first one I got was their white one. So it turned my skin blue and I'm like, I don't know why people like this. But then I tried their clear, which is, as you can see right there, like it's a little tinted. So it doesn't go on blue. And I love this stuff. This stuff is just great. You throw it on the formula is fine. It gives you the perfect amount of like moisturizer if you just wanna get it done in one. I will say I do also love Bliss SPF. It's their invisible sunscreen. It's SPF 30. So this is a mineral sunscreen. So Elta MD does have zinc oxide, but it also has oxinoxate, which some studies actually say that there's not enough SPF in the waters that can damage it. So we just, I guess there's not like clear, clear studies on that. Um, but Bliss is mineral. An SPF that I started using and I really love this formula, it's Glow Recipe and it's SPF 50. So again, it has chemicals and it's a mineral based sunscreen, but this formula is fuego. Like you put this on underneath your makeup and it looks great. It like hydrates your skin. I just feel like everything Glow Recipe does, like they're really good about hydrating your skin. Okay, so my top pick of SPFs, if we're gonna talk about you know, if these chemicals are harmful, if they're not, um, including the way it goes on and the formula and all of that. And it's Drunk Elephant. It's SPF 30, it's 20% zinc oxide and sunflower shoot extract. And it's tinted, so it goes on super clear. And mind you, none of this is sponsored. But it goes on great and the formula is really nice. I mean, so Super Goop goes on really great, like, and it just goes on your skin and it doesn't have um, an oily feeling to it. Um, I feel like this is a great balance between, it's not oily, but it is hydrating. And Drunk Elephant is hydrating. It's not gooey or anything like that, but it definitely hydrates your skin. So I do love all those, it's hard to pick. But again, this doesn't have those chemicals in them if they're bad. Reapplying sunscreen is still something I'm trying to learn. I know that there are some sprays apparently. Um, I can link some below. I actually just looked them up like right before this cause I was like, oh, I wonder if there's like a setting spray with SPF and there is. The only thing about sprays is obviously you're not getting everywhere, but I have tried both of these out and they're the best. And I asked um, uh, my dermatologist, I was like, what do you think about powder SPF? And she goes, oh, those are fantastic. They're like SPF is powder and they'll put them in like a cream and that's what like, you know, SPFs that we use. So this is like pretty much just full on SPF. But this is Derma Ease Sun Protection Mineral Powder and it's just titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So this is a mineral based. I will put this on just throughout the day, especially on my nose. Like when my boyfriend and I went to um, Disneyland, I was just, throw this on throughout my face and my chest and I didn't get sunburn. And another good one is Science Brush On Sunscreen. And this is a broad spectrum SPF 50 and they come in different shades. I have a darker version and this would be good like everywhere else. To me, that's the best way to reapply your SPF is through these powders. So for the body, I love Glow Screen um, Super Goop. This is a really good body one. They do have this glow oil, which which is SPF 50. And this is a chemical SPF. But this is so nice. Like you just spray it on and you just have that like really sexy oily in the sun. Love it and it protects you. I would say a drugstore, like drugstore SPFs. My personal opinion, I love Copper Tones Mineral Sunscreen. It's 100% mineral. Um, hyperallergenic, no parabens, dyes, fragrance, any of that, and uh, it's good. Honestly though, my favorite one is Copper Tones Glow. So this one is um, a gradual tanner one. They also have another one, I think it's called Glow, but it has the shimmer in it. And I just used that the other day on the boat, and that's probably like my favorite one because it's like a shimmery SPF looks really good on your skin. You look like you're popping in your bathing suit 
and you're protecting yourself. And it's SPF 30, so it's like it's protecting yourself, but you're still getting a deeper tan, you know, depending on how long you're outside. We went on this like lazy river thing in Texas, and we were in the sun for a really long time, in consistent sun. And so I was, I brought the copper tone for everyone to put on, and that was great, but I also brought this the super goop, super goop glow stick in SPF 50. And all the guys really <laughs> used this one because they didn't want the shimmery one. But this is a great stick just to have. And you just put on some sunscreen and maybe blend it in a bit. And it goes on clear and it works great. Super goop has a really, really great formula. So does L to MD, so does Glow Recipe, Drunk Elephant. Um, and those are all like the fancier ones, but Drugstore stuff sometimes freaks me out, but I would definitely say mineral-based sunscreens is where I'm gonna go when it comes to that. So this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So Squarespace is awesome. It gives you an awesome platform to start your own website. So this is what the Squarespace website looks like. I am actually building my own Squarespace website and it's been so easy and there's a ton of great features. Some of the highlights about building a Squarespace website are, it's a great way to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated member content. You can use their blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule posts and Squarespace extensions is a new third-party tool that can help you manage inventory, promote products, do bookkeeping, file sales, tax, and ship across the globe. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And once you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash genewatts to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Okay, so sunscreen for your lips. I have this um, Vacation Lip Trips and I have Banana Foster and pineapple upside down cake, and these smell really, really good. Um, these do have, this is a chemical sunscreen. I have this H-E-B sunscreen uh, just from the grocery store. Again, it has chemicals in it, but there's a lip tint and it's expensive for a lip tint, but it's called Babo Botanicals. It's SPF 15, but it is 100% um, pure and it is a mineral-based sunscreen for your lips, and it's super pigmented. So this is a little dark for me. I still like it though. And they have lighter shades. But I love it. It's super moisturizing and pigmented. It gives you lips, and it's protecting your lips. And it's all minerals, so it's all good. So technically, my rate on the best SPF for your lips would be bad bot botanicals. I hope I like taught you guys something. I think this is super interesting. Would love for you guys, again, to let me know you guys' thoughts, experiences, and whatever about SPF. I would love to just start like an open conversation. School me on some shit if you guys want to. Love it, cause I wanna know, I wanna help other people know. I will definitely update this as I keep doing my research on it. Thanks for watching. I know that was kind of a lot. I'm probably all over the place and I probably sounded like a complete idiot but I try my best. <laughs> but yeah, take care of yourselves, do that inner work, um, and stay tuned for more. Got a lot of fun stuff coming, and uh, get in the work in, so stay tuned. Love you guys, bye.